How are you? After the food was served, I presented the contestants with an exercise that was something of a double-edged sword. Well, you want to know one reason I, uh, I called this meeting? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. A friend of mine is, is a Japanese uh, executive. His name is Danburi Tabata. Dan introduced me to this idea that is kind of an employee relations procedure. They call it non-barrier worker feedback. The idea is that one night every year, the boss takes out his underlings and they get to say anything they want to the boss. And it is very clear that there will be no repercussions from any statement they make. And I thought it would be a good thing for all of you to do with me. Hmm. I want you to air any grievance, any gripe. He opened up the forum and he said, just let me have it and give me your thoughts and your views on me. And I'm just looking at the other guys and I'm like. Be completely direct, no holds barred. I let them know that this was gonna be their one and only chance to share their feelings about all the I put them through without any repercussions, of course. I want you to hit me with your best shot. One of my concerns has been that there's been too much focus on power and money. I want a bigger reason than making money just to make money. So I'm a greed-driven whore? That was my first impression of you. I appreciate that. Thank you. It was a relief to get it all off my chest and to know that I didn't have any repercussions. Robert? I gotta go way back to the whole golf thing, all right? To find out that you're with the girls really pissed me off. Instead of calling you M. Paul Todd, I called you F. Paul Todd. Thank you for that. I thought that you seemed a bit arrogant the first time that we had met you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. He doesn't comment on anything. He just says, thank you. What's going on up there, you know? Thank you for that. I appreciate that. He continually said, thank you, I appreciate that. And that was it. You know, I don't get what the angle is here. Exactly. Most early stage venture capital firms want to stay out of the public eye. Yet you guys are doing this for PR. You already have made a ton of money. I still, still don't quite get it. Thank you, I appreciate that. Mr. Todd did take the time to hear and us voice our grievances, yet he did not answer any of the grievances. You never really mentioned your net worth, which is crap. The longer this went on, the more comfortable they got. And boy, did they let me have it. Mr. Todd, it's gonna be a long one. I'd like you to hear me out. You know, I'm not interested in how much money you make or what companies you have. I am interested in the lack of integrity that you showed us when you blew us off at the golf course. And by you blowing us off, total lack of respect. Don't make plans with me or my business partners and blow us off, because that deal is pulled right off the table. Anything else? You, you pulled the JV move, and you're supposed to be a varsity player. Thank you. Mr. Todd was saying thank you, and I appreciate that. It's total bull crap. You don't have to patronize me by saying thank you. Thanks, Mike. I hear you. Thanks. And I'll leave it at that. They got their shots in, but the next day was going to be my turn. And you know what? Payback's a bitch.